So this question is, is, is saying, for all books that were borrowed in 2020, what's the amount of late fees that have been collected? Okay, so this is using that transaction table again, and I'm gonna be looking at late fees, right? Um, and remember, late fees, I'm gonna be getting that from the membership uh, types table, because that's the one that has information about uh, the late fees per day and how many days they're allocated, uh, how many free late days, essentially, that the person's being allocated and so on, right? So again, like before, I'm basically just gonna start in the from statement and bring in all the columns I know, all the, sorry, uh, all the tables I know I'm gonna use. So that's item checkouts, member and membership types, because ultimately I, I care about membership types, but the only way I can join to membership types is item checkouts to member first, and then from member to membership type. Uh, that I did here, and then I did the first one over there. Okay, and then actually uh, this is a mistake. So here you see I filter for 20, 2022. That should actually be 2020, but uh, it's the same idea really. Uh, yeah, so let's say, yeah, so let's imagine that was a 2020, right? But okay, so for all the books that are borrowed in 2020, that's my filter for the checkout dates year. Um, so I want to look at the late fees. So late fees, base, so what's the total amount of late fees that have been collected? The, and then I'm going to assume here that if a book was late and it was returned, that means the late fee has been collected. So let's say I, so I want to look at books that have been returned. So I'm going to look for ones that were checked out, but the return date is not null, meaning the book has been returned. And then I want to get the total. So I basically have like this big uh, case when statement to um, calculate the uh, calculate the uh, calculate the uh, total total amount of fees that were collected, right? So I'm basically going to see uh, when. So when the return date is before the scheduled return date. Um, so if so that would that would mean the book was so you see the comment there so that would mean the book was returned before or on the date the book is due so in that case i don't i don't there is no late fee um or uh you see this other this other statement over here so that this was that's this is this one case where here the fee is zero uh the other case is the book is within the grace period so that that would also mean it's in zero and the book we know is within the grace period is basically so you see here this date diff between the return date and scheduled return date. If that is less than or equal to the late days allocated. So if that's within that time period, there is no late fee. So whenever those are true, um, my fee is zero. Um, otherwise, you're going to have a late fee. And that's what this uh, else statement here is going to calculate. So otherwise, you have the late fee per day, which is, again, remember, this late fee per day is from the membership types table, um, times the number of days it was late, right? So, so that I can get the number of days it was late by that similar statement to above, where I'm basically just going to take the difference between the return date and the scheduled return date. But I'm going to I'm also going to subtract the number of late days allocated. So let's say uh, I was late returning something by five days, but I was only uh, I was only uh, I was given three late days that are allocated to me. So if I use so that so it's five minus three is two. So I'm only going to be charged for two days uh, with, with that period. So that's why I do that subtraction there. And then that multiplies multiplies by the late fee per day, and then it ends up being uh, what the total was. And then since I sort of sum everything up there, this is gonna give me the total that's been collected um, based off of the books that were borrowed that were returned late. Okay, uh, moving on to the last question actually. Um, uh, sort of building on that previous question, so the question here is, what's the total when you include the total amount of late fees book from books borrowed in 2020 that have yet to be returned? So we're basically saying, uh, so remember back in this query, we did this over here, right? Uh, late fees that were collected because the return date is not null. So now it's saying, what about the books that are late, but they're still out there, right? So one thing we could do 
uh, one thing we know is that if we wanted to calculate the late fee, we want we need to know when it was returned because you charge a late fee per day. So what we can do is assume that, okay, if it's still out there, let's do the calculation assuming that uh, the book is going to be returned today. And you see, so that assumption, if I was doing this in an actual interview, I would say that to the interviewer that I'm making that decision that this is how I'm gonna write the query. Um, you know, so again, kind of goes back to wanting to communicate with your interviewer as you go and kind of take them through your thought process. Um, okay, but you sort of look at this and you see it's not too different from what we had in the previous question where, again, in our first thing, we're taking the same tables. Um, notice the one thing that's missing. So this should be 2020, like before, but you see what's actually missing is this return date is not null filter because I'm going to be looking at the ones that haven't been returned. So I don't want to filter them out. Um, so then when I'm adding up the actual fees, it's pretty similar to before, where our first two cases is going to be the same, where this is going to be a no fee and this is going to be no fee. Either it's returned when the book is before the book is due or it's within the grace period. So there's no fee then. But this is a little bit different. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to multiply the late fee per day times the number of days it was late by. So what I would do is uh, we basically just need to account for the books that have yet to be returned. Um, and remember, those still have a blank return date. So, but I want to basically, so since that blank return date, uh, I want that to represent today instead of uh, being blank. So what I would do is just use this coalesce statement here and then do the same thing I did before. So here I'm basically either going to get the return date or if the return date is blank, I'm using the today function to get today's date. So this is basically going to use uh, implement that assumption we made before where uh, if the book hasn't been returned, let's calculate the late fee as if it were to be cal if it, as if the book were to be returned today. Um, and then it's pretty similar to before, where I'm doing the late fee per day uh, times the number of days that it was late, whether it was a return date or today, whether it was a return date or today here. Um, so that minus the number of late days allocated, similar to before, just multiplying that. Uh, by the late fee, and then I'm going to get the total that I'm summing up here. Um, okay, and then I think, I think, uh, yeah, so it looks like that's actually it for the library design question. Uh, hopefully you got something out of this question, uh, out of this session, and hope you come for the next video. Thanks.